What's up you guys, I'm Miracle, welcome back to my channel. No, you grow up. So for today's video, I want to talk about something that I touched on in a recent video. I had made a video about this article that was talking about how the last Ronin revitalized the TMNT franchise. And I also saw another video that was made by what I'm assuming is a large channel, but not really a Turtles channel. But the video was about how Mutant Mayhem saved the TMNT franchise. Which, if that's your opinion, I can't imagine you're really that big of a part of the fandom. This is a franchise that's been in the best spot it's been in probably since the early 90s. And that was before before we had seen any actual footage from Mutant Mayhem. And that's because one thing that has gone up a great amount in the last five years is the amount of Ninja Turtles action figures that are on the market. And I'm absolutely of the belief that the most important things to an 80s and 90s franchise are and always have been action figures. I'm going to reference a couple other toy lines to make some points, but I'm mainly going to be talking about Turtles. But a lot of what I say about Turtles can be applied to other lines as well. So in the 80s and the early 90s, there's two things that always went hand in hand, and that was cartoons and action figures. Basically when there became no rules on how you can advertise towards children, cartoons pretty much became the greatest commercial for toys. Now I want to get this out of the way right off the bat. I'm not saying that comics and cartoons aren't important or weren't important to the franchise. Clearly Turtles wouldn't have even started if it wasn't for comics. But I didn't even really know about Turtles comics as a kid. I didn't really discover Mirage until I got older and I saw Archie on the shelves and stuff like that but I never really cared about it by the time I was into comics. So I'm not trying to disrespect Eastman and Laird or anything like that. Yes, the Turtles comics were a huge underground hit but they never would have achieved the mainstream success they didn't if it didn't lead to the cartoon and the action figure line. And pretty much the same thing can be applied for the cartoon that I said about comics. If we didn't get that cartoon that came before the toy line, the toys probably never would have moved the way they did. But after the seeds were planted with the cartoons, it was pretty much all toys that were the driving force from there. And again, I love the Turtles cartoon. The first season especially is amazing, and there's tons of other episodes that I love as well. But if we remove our rose-colored glasses, that cartoon cartoon is a pretty good comedy by today's standards, but to act like it's one of the greatest cartoons ever made is kind of insane. And that's coming from someone that loves it. I can just objectively say that it's not the strongest cartoon ever made, but I love it. I still watch it all the time. I watched it a ton as a kid. But without a doubt, I spent way more time playing with my action figures, and even now as an adult, I spend way more time looking at action figures, playing with action figures, opening action figures, than I do watching the cartoon, which I own the entire series of. I can watch it whenever I want, and I do put those DVDs in pretty frequently on the weekends. But it still just doesn't even come close to the amount of time I do spend with my action figures. And when I was a kid, it was the same way. I had a ton of the VHSs, I watched them all the time, but I was pretty much always playing with the action figures no matter what was going on, even if my parents were watching TV, if I was in the car, if I was at the babysitters, wherever I was, the action figures always went with me. And I think the reason the action figures resonated with us so much when we were kids was because we were actually creative and imaginative and we created our own stories and our own world with the turtles. And I think that's why that seed has been planted in us so hard. When I look back and think about turtles, all the characters that I think of, I think about their toy form. I didn't even see a lot of the actual cartoon episodes with the characters until I was an adult, and I had no idea that some of the biggest characters had only appeared in like one or two episodes. I figured everybody was a regular reoccurring character and I just missed all the episodes they were in. So it's hard to say that Muckman's one appearance made Muckman what he is. It was from the hours we all spent playing with that action figure. I didn't even own it. I didn't even like it as a kid, even though it's one of my favorite figures now. But I played with them all the time at the babysitters. Between me and the kids that I hung out with, we had pretty much every figure together. And that's just where all my memories come from. There's a lot of companies that think you need an ongoing cartoon or some sort of series or media to push toys. And I think the last few years has shown that that's not true at all. I think G.I. Joe is the best example of this out of every line. I think if you look at Turtles, Trans Transformers, Motu, they've all had a lot better run from when they started until now than G.I. Joe has. G.I. Joe has not gotten a lot of love. They have not gotten any good movies. They have not gotten any good cartoons. And they had the 25th anniversary line that came out. But other than that, Joe's had not really been getting a lot of love for the last 25 years until Classified came out. That line exploded in popularity beyond what anybody, including Hasbro, probably could have ever predicted. It went from something that I feel like was fan service to now what is the like capstone of all their presentations. Without a doubt, they're putting more into Joe's than anything right now, and they're smart to be doing that. It's the IP that they actually own, and people are nuts about it, and that's the smart move to be making. I think it's still one of the hottest lines out there, even
even though I personally don't really collect it myself anymore, it's still a great line and it's still one that I admire from afar. And it 100% proves that the fan base is still out there and they're still rabid for action figures. Now Mutant Mayhem did get a ton of figures and they're honestly moving pretty well. My targets of Walmarts have probably sold through about 80% of all their stuff and there still is a good amount on the shelf but there was a ton that came out when all these end caps and center aisle displays hit and it was good for action figure sales and it was definitely good for playmates but NECA and Super 7 to a lesser extent have been slaying off the turtles line for the last three or four years but I would without a doubt say that NECA is probably single-handedly the biggest reason for why turtles are so hype right now when I got back into collecting and everything I was already collecting comics and I was into the playmates line but this was also the time when NECA was just starting to hit target and I very quickly shifted from my focus being vintage figures to modern figures because of NECA. Then Super 7 came out and they gave us awesome figures as well. Even though there is a lot of bickering and arguing in the action figure community, I still feel like it's done a lot better job at unifying the fandom than any incarnation of the cartoon or movies have lately. If anything, I would say that Mutant Mayhem is the most divisive thing that's happened to the community in a while. And there definitely is a very loud group that dislikes this movie. But as a whole, I would say it was a win for the community. The majority of people seem to have liked it. But even if this movie never came out, even if we got another franchise, I still think think Turtles fandom would be just as hype as it is right now. And I think it's still going to be hype for a long time, as long as companies like NECA and Super 7 and Playmates are still giving us action figures, we're still going to buy them. I mean, look at Playmates. They're giving us the same action figures they've been giving us for years, and I'm one of those suckers that is still buying them. Because at the end of the day, I just can't really explain how happy these figures make me. When I come in here and just look at all my stuff, it just instantly transports me back to my childhood. And let's be real, none of us knew how good we actually had it then. And yes, it's awesome that I can buy whatever I want, but if I could go back and redo my childhood, I would do it in a heartbeat. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you to all my subscribers for sticking around, for liking, commenting, and again, just being patient through this time where it's hard for me to get content out as much as I'd like to. So take it easy, be safe, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.